glad you made it over to Eska. Have you thought about what we can do for you? Can um, can we go over some of the things that, that we offer here and let me tell you a little bit about them? And... Cancer Association and uh, was created 11 years ago. For me, Eska is like an extended hand for connection. It's a very caring, supportive organization, both of the people within the clan and the clans. ESCA means providing information and practical and emotional support to people who have cancer or their loved ones. We're there to provide both information, direct emotional support, advice as far as we can within the limitation. They need to, to find their, their way again, find their balance, and that's what we're there for, is to help them. Receiving a life-threatening diagnosis basically changes everything that you know about the world or that you think you know. It changes the orbit. We've not been here very long. My daughter was diagnosed with um, Hodgkin's lymphoma. It was very helpful that I could um, talk to somebody that had the same cancer. cancer. It's very important that they have access to an organization which can assist them in meeting their, their practical needs, uh, their emotional needs, and which is here to provide all sorts of information. For me, it exists to help in whatever way we can for people who are affected by cancer. The drop-in really is, if you like, it's the warm heart of ESCA, so it's, it's where people come, it's what they see. Here's with ESCA. Challenging, enriching, and I think probably uh, I get more back than I give. And I just find it very challenging, enriching, and I think probably uh, I get more back than I give. ESCA is a great volunteer organization. I, once I got here, I just thought the people were wonderful, what they were doing and the way they were going about it. it was really worthwhile. In the three years that I have been a volunteer, I feel that I've gotten so much out of it. And, and, and I particularly like working with our clients, those who have, have the greatest need. They feel that they've got something to contribute time as much as anything, and a willingness to be involved in sometimes quite trivial work. And I think this is a very welcoming and worthwhile organization. I think actually it's very professional. People want to be here, and it's a great environment to work in. If you believe that it's worthwhile to support people who are, in whatever way, have had their lives affected by cancer, then ESCA is a very good example of how one can do that. Dragon boating originated in Asia, but now it's pretty much international, and you can find dragon boat festivals and clubs in almost every country. So because we didn't have it here in Swiss Flamand, we thought, well, this would be kind of a neat thing. And we had the first one over in Le Sentier, in fact, in 2007. It's just grown every year since then. This year we had 52 teams of 20 people, 25 of which were corporate teams, 15 were open, and 12 were all female. Quite a few of the paddlers are cancer survivors. Our goal is to show people that those who have been touched by cancer can indeed still live full and active lives. We made quite a bit of money for the association. We donate a portion of those funds this year to the Maison de Tara, which is the first ever hospice in Geneva. The Paddle for Cancer is donating money to help create a very tranquil garden for the patients and their families. I think it's been fantastic, and the paddling was spectacular. So I think everyone had a really great time. I think it's a magnet for some of the finest people I've ever met who all seem to have some, something in common, and that is uh, a big heart and a capacity to help other people.